Hello, dear guests. Uh, I'm very glad to be here today. My name is Kadi Rautsep and uh, I'm the head of uh, Export and Market Development Bureau at the Ministry of Rural Affairs. Um, I've had the chance to um, work with Estonian food for over 15 years now and it's been um, uh, a very interesting time and, and it's uh, definitely um, a very uh, intriguing and uh, interesting uh, field. Uh, but before I, I go to the facts and figures of uh, Estonian food and food industry, I'd like to take you um, on a small uh, walk in, in Estonian nature uh, with our uh, well-known chef, uh, Peter Pihel. As you saw from the video, the, the forests, fields and uh, the sea have um, kept Estonians well fed throughout our history. And the four distinct seasons have uh, uh, provided a, a variety of uh, seasonal ingredients and um, a food preparation methods and have uh, definitely uh, inspired our uh, uh, chefs uh, and food industry uh, professionals as well. So when we look at our uh, at our uh, food production uh, history, we see that uh, uh, there has been a great uh, focus on the quality of the raw material. And if you have a great quality raw material, you can uh, produce uh, high quality uh, products as well. Uh, when we look at uh, Estonia's uh, food production history, we see that um, uh, there are great traditions in the uh, dairy industry, industry and milk has even been uh, called a, a white gold of Estonia. And today we can uh, say that uh, our milk is 100% uh, antibiotic uh, free, uh, which is of course a great uh, raw material for the whole our uh, dairy industry. But we also have great conditions uh, for uh, producing high quality meat, uh, grain, and also um, uh, we have a long coastline and long traditions in, in the fisheries industry as well. And our uh, industry uses uh, modern technology, uh, making production and logistics as efficient, automated, sanitary as possible, uh, with minimum environmental impact. When we look at our uh, export figures of our uh, food products, we see that uh, most of our uh, products are exported to the European Union market. Uh, and 30% uh, uh, of our products are exported to the third country's uh, markets. And our main export articles are dairy products, grain, fish and fish products, meat and meat products and uh, spirit drinks. And our uh, companies are constantly looking for new market opportunities. And if you look at the figures, you see that uh, uh, in 2020, Estonian companies um, uh, exported their products to 119 countries. And if we look at the trade figures with uh, Japan, uh, we see that uh, in 2020, our top export articles to Japan were uh, milk and dairy, uh, fish and fish products, yeasts, snacks and chocolates. And uh, the top three import products to Estonia, uh, to Estonia were uh, cocoa beans, cocoa paste and cocoa powder. Um, and uh, as I mentioned before, our uh, companies are constantly looking for new uh, export uh, opportunities. And uh, considering uh, the Japanese markets, I would bring out um, uh, the list of products you see here that um, uh, that would be uh, looking at the export uh, opportunities on the Japanese market. And those are uh, dairy products, 
fish and fish uh, products, meat, chocolates, sweets, honey, craft beer, craft cider, snacks, mineral water, and yeasts. So good uh, relations and cooperation with uh, Japan have uh, been uh, always important to Estonia. And uh, on the pictures you see uh, uh, our uh, former Minister of uh, Rural Affairs greeting uh, uh, Japanese uh, Vice Minister Mr. Isozaki. Uh, and we really hope that um, uh, in the future we find even more cooperation uh, possibilities both uh, uh, between the companies and also between the state institutions as well. And uh, if you have any further questions, you're very welcome to write to me or my colleagues um, and you find my contact details on the slide here uh, above. So thank you very much. Thank you, Kadi, for giving us a small taste of Estonia. Uh, tell me, whom should I contact if I want to know more about the Estonian food companies or farming companies? Uh, yes, I think the first uh, best contact would be our uh, sector organizations, either the uh, Food Industry Association or Estonian Chamber of uh, Agriculture or Commerce. Or if you're interested in uh, organic products, then uh, Organic Estonia would be the first uh, organization to contact. Um, tell me, how flexible are Estonian companies when it comes to adjusting their products for, for the target market? I would say that Estonian companies are very flexible because um, many of our companies are not that big, but they're very um, into product development. And uh, I would say that they're very flexible and ready to uh, adjust their products and, uh, and uh, talk to their um, cooperation partner and work out the best solutions uh, they can. Thank you. Thank you.